Alright, yeah, and welcome back to some more RimWorld Beta 18 with the Medieval Times mod. So, what are we doing today? Well, we are currently in the process of expanding our base out a little bit. This area here is essentially going to be for farmland. We've got a bit of rich soil. There's also a bit of mud here and there, actually, as well. What we could do is go to Terraform and get rid of this mud. Uh, how do we want to do that? Dig up water? Create muddy... No. Remove floor? I don't know. Is that part of... Uh... Oh, this might be terrain rehabilitation, actually, to get rid of the mud. So, Hakuja, are you uh, still tantruming? No, you're all good. All right. Woo, we got a muffalo. Nice. Go on, mate. Come on. Wow. That's really good. All right, well, we've got two muffalos. Uh, unfortunately, not muffalos for milking, but if we get another female, then we can start breeding muffalos. We've got ourselves a nice little pack animal then for uh, trades and stuff. Very happy about that. Low food. How's our food coming along, actually? Corn's at 80%. We've just got our hay grass in, actually, which allows us to feed our farm animals and keep them out of our fridge. Uh, we can also use it to finish off this double uh, bed as well, which we have been missing stuff for. We can also make some ice as well to keep our gazelle meat frozen. So, yeah, plenty of uses for this hair grass. Very happy to get it in there. Right. This here. Oh. Oh, yeah, we had a caravan. Um... Let's allow sowing on this. We want potatoes on this because we actually want to generate some food. I, I turned off sowing on this hay grass stuff so that we could get it all harvested before um, I replanted stuff on it. So, where were we going and what were we doing? I can't quite remember. Oh, yeah. In here is a thing. The first for me, actually, going to uh, areas like this. We could mine some compacted steel out, but we can't really uh, carry it back now, can we? All right, so walk in there. We got an elixir of life. Concocted centuries ago by a powerful alchemist with methods long lost to time, this single-use elixir has the miraculous power to grant life to the dead. However, there can be side effects to resurrection, and the likelihood and severity of the side effects increase more the more that decompose the corpses. So if somebody dies, we can actually bring them back to life. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I would love to take some of this steel back with us, but I don't think we've got the space to really do that. I seem to remember us being on the verge of... Uh... Words. Uh, on the verge of like uh, being full... So we want to take that with us. Um, plus the fact that the steel is also like... Let me just make sure. Yeah. The steel is also like really heavy as well. So it's not as if we can really take more than like 10. Even if we could. So let's get that caravan reformed. We have... Is there a way to find out how much food we've got? As in days worth of food? We might be able to make this journey. Oh yeah. Days of food, 3.3. .3, rot in 2.9. This is going to take us 0 0.9. So we're all good. Alright. No worries there. Alright. Really do need to get some granite going as well. If we are to get this wall finished. I'm hoping to try and do that today. But without granite, it's a little bit difficult now, isn't it? Is this like granite here? No, this is slate. There's so much slate. Slate everywhere. It's a bit dark as well to be able to tell what uh, color these rocks are. Which isn't ideal. Hey, granite. Uh, let's double click that. Haul the granite, please. Yeah. That's slate. I want more granite. There it is. All of that. Give any all. Give any all. 
want all those stuff. Right, this bear, it has me worried. It's a little hungry and we're building near it. There's also another bear here. Are they male and female? No, two males. <laughs> I don't know, what, what's the odds of... Uh, 1.8 1. if I was to try and tame them. That seems a little low for a bear, I'll be honest, but... What do I know? Animal starvation. Apparently... Oh yeah, we were actually trying to starve you. No medical care. Just don't nuzzle anybody. Because if we name it, we own it. God, a lot has changed since... Uh, since I last recorded some videos for this. Oh, we do also have uh, the stone quarry as well. Apparently we've got enough granite, but I don't think we do. I guess we could bring that up to... Bring it up to 300. E. It's counting chunks and blocks for some reason. But there you go. If we get that done, then we'll start generating some chunks. It'll be a lot easier to get to. It'll be the first time we use it as well. Is there anything else on here that we want? No. Nobody's really been doing any of the coal chunk stuff either. Oh, well, there you go. Build me my wall. I want my growing zones. And I want them to be safe. But yeah, the hope is essentially just to fill this entire area. Ooh, ah, caravan's back. Fill this entire area with growing zones. I think that'd be really good. Wow. That's a dead squirrel. Uh, if I go to orders and I go to claim, this is actually granite. So why don't we just deconstruct it since I don't really want it here anyway. Are we really on terraforming duty right now? Major break on Val. Urgently hungry. We got... Oh, we've actually got nothing. Oh my god. Go slaughter that boom rat. Deal with the consequences, I guess. We could hunt one of those bears. Facts. Let's do it. I'm going to bring the whole group with me. And we're going to hunt this bear, because I don't really want to be injured. And it's a lot of meat, so it's worth our time, I'd say. Okay. Attack. Release the animals. Go, go, go. Take it down. Wow, the only injury was uh, one of these guys. Fools. Absolute fools. Where's the other bear? There was another one somewhere. Not the polar bear, that one's mine. I guess he buggered off to go eat something then. Alright, well. Undraft everybody. Somebody should haul this. You know, because you're all starving to death. Or at least you're telling me you are. God dang it. That bear should last quite some time. And by quite some time, probably just the day. Let's get some hunting orders, though, for when that inevitably does run out. There's a turkey there. Turkeys and birds of that sort and nature are worth getting. Bears, if we can handle them. Mostly we want things like this. Big herds of deer to take those down. There's a turkey there. Oh, there's the bear. Was it just sleeping on my screen this entire time? Probably. Die already! Oh my god. Let me guess. Yep, nobody's tended to you. God, I hate the doctoring in this game. I should just stop expecting anyone to do anything useful. Alright. Consuming jerk mix. Alright, we've got 170 meat. Everybody's going to start trying to uh, chew on it. I'm going to have to draft and stop them. 
so that we can make weak stews instead and not complain and have mental breaks, please. Nope, you're banned. Now you have to wait. Come on, eat your stuff. There you go. Alright, that should have everybody covered. Should be able to make weak stews without people grabbing crap. Oh yeah, don't do this. Uh, no. Not a job I want. Happening. Whoa. Oh yeah, this is why I don't set things to slaughter, but I got impatient because we were starving to death. Speaking of animals and starving to death. When did we get a boomalope? Yeah, we'll keep it. Suppose it's useful. I'd like to make some. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! You make sure that door is closed. Yes, it is. All right. I draft everybody inside, and we're gonna restrict everyone to the inside zone, which uh, includes everywhere I want it to. Good. Alright, once you're drafted and inside, I'll undraft you. You can do, do whatever you want then. At that point. I've noticed our animals are not restricted. Uh, this is animal area 2. Yep, go there. The only reason I'd restrict them is not because the ostriches will attack the dogs, it's because they'll do things like this. Which will encourage the ostriches to... Uh, come and knock on the door. It's like I told you to go down here and you completely ignored me and now you're going to die, Humdinger. I hope you're happy. Nope. Alright, he's smartened up. Okay. Well, Humdinger, I'm going to unrestrict you because I know you're going to go straight to the bed, I believe, anyway. Keep an eye on you. Yep, there you go. And then, hopefully, somebody will come and tend to you. That'd be great if you could do that. There you go. Alright, now you're restricted back to the fridge. I hear brewing happening. I'm very excited. Oh! Why are you even... Oh my god. God dang it, right, it's time. Getting involved. I'm done. These guys clearly want to die, so let's go and murder them all. There's not really that many left anyway, so stand there. Hold the door open. And three on one them. I'm just wait for them to come through now. Easy peasy. Oh no, the dogs have blocked it. At least we've got a bear though. That's what counts, right? Get him. God, the slowest victory of all time. There we go. Alright. What I want now is for you guys to haul all of these corpses urgently. And then finish off the ones that have not quite died yet. Thank you. Got a little bit of a, an injury situation to tend to. But it's not too bad. Zeke's is already kind of just not that bad. Bruising. We've got a polar bear injury, I think. Yeah. In fact, our animals can now go back to uh, this animal area zone. And they can go do whatever they want. Including, but not restricted to, going to a bed for our doctors to heal. Or our handlers. Whatever they want to do. Got a nice little group of animals now. Isn't that lovely? You're in no immediate danger. Someone will get to you in a minute, I would imagine. Infections on animals don't really occur all that often. 
if at all, from my experience, but, you know. Right. How's the stone blocks coming along? We've got plenty, we just don't have anyone constructing right now. I see a lot of ones on this list, but not enough people actually winning. Making ice blocks. Yeah, what is this skill? It's, uh... It doesn't require any skill. So I don't really know what it comes under. Crafting, I would assume. Maybe tailoring by the sound of it. Literally. Alright, well, we no longer got food issues, so... Those ostriches should last us quite some time. We've got our steel boxes bringing the temperature down so that the, uh, the bird meat is going to last for easily long enough for us to get our corn harvest in. Maybe even our potatoes after that. We've got a strawberry plant growing there. Honestly, we don't have that much, which is kind of why I want to get this zone going. I mean, we could, like, just start the growing zone now. Like, once you've said it, it's like one of those things that you just leave well alone, really. Nobody's going to attack it. Let's do like a 5x15. Twice over. That'll be potatoes. This will be... Strawberries, I guess. Set that going. Polar bear is fully healed. Yay. I wish someone would... Uh... Sort this wart out. There you go. Ah, it's like they understand me. Bloody animals chewing on things. It's exactly the reason why this is so random on the harvest. Severe illness. Oh. Immediately developed an immunity. Stepan, Braxios, and Kai, do you construct? Yes. So why aren't you? Are you restricted? Oh yes. Ha 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 ha. Yes you are. Explains a lot. It was only temporary though. It's not like they've been that way the entire episode. Right. Why is this allowing ice? That's what I want to know. It should only be allowing this thing, because this said that it needed it needed this, which is the only reason why I built it. But people keep shoving ice blocks in it for some reason. Which is uh, fair enough, I guess. Eh? I'd really rather them do uh, different things, like build my wall and set up my growing zones, but, you know each their own. So the plan was to get this all filled by the time winter comes around. We're in Jugust at the moment. So being about halfway there, one would assume we'd be able to finish this off by winter. And then these would be ready to empty out. Actually, they're pretty much ready to empty out now. In fact, let's continue getting growing zones on this because it's clearly not enough. And I'm going to have to mess with the animal area zone. This one here. To not allow any of that. Not allow any of that. I don't think they can hurt me in any other meaningful way except for maybe that there. But I'm honestly not fussed about those at all for the most part. Why is there some random scale gloves on the floor? I have no idea. Some things you just never know. Always remain a mystery. 999 meat currently in the fridge. 1,400 specifically. I guess we're going to have to go back on the jerked meats plan. Since we've got far too much meat again. And our uh, ice boxes are emptied out. We seem to also have a tailoring job that maybe shouldn't exist. No. No. We're just picking up socks. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Some excellent quality puzzle boxes there for 68 silver apiece. And we're being raided. They're going to prepare for a while. Okay. Let's have a look at them. Oh, easy. Easy peasy. Right, well, we'll just keep an eye on everybody. Just make sure that they don't go too far out of the base. And hopefully they don't attack this bit of the wall in any meaningful way. That would be annoying. Where are you going, Brexios? No. In fact, you've just been uh, restricted to the inside zone. Good, good job. Where are you going? That's an acceptable place to go. Building my wall. Ah. It's got to make sure my little ants don't go where they shouldn't. In fact, speaking of, get in the fridge, you annoying animals. Some of them will uh, join us, but for the most part. Right. Let's, uh, let's draft you all here. I'm going to get the ranged units on this side. We're going to test out the uh, embrasures. Bring our melee units up and around this area here. So we can block quite nicely. Zeke, you go there. Oh boy. Oh, they tucked around the wrong way. This is going to be awkward. Well, hopefully we don't have to release release the animals. Kai, have you even got a weapon? No. Right, well what I want you to do then is melee attack Busto, because I don't think you're going to get in. Oh, no, never mind. Now you've, you've found your opportunity. Maybe. We'll see. I might just, like, get you to punch Orange while these two catch up. Nice. Solid. Uh, Boomalop accidentally hit a trap. It's fine. Just a little stab. Alright, you get Dove. Kai, you still get in, because you're useless to me. Wow, this is going real well. Alright, let's back up. They're trying to get over. Are they going to manage it? No, because I'm going to bring Kanto around to take care of Monkey. Monkey is down. Ouch. Alright. We're entering a range battle that we really don't need to. Let's bring Brexios out here so that they've got no one to shoot at, really. Let's bring Kanto out. Kudra out. Zeke, you get out. Draw them in. Oh boy, that's real bad. <laughs> Didn't notice that now, did we? Okay. Uh, let's leave three back. The rest of you. Gotta get you involved here. Let's take out Sam. I forgot I left the door open. There we go, that's one down. Where's the animals and why haven't we released them? Release them. And unrestrict them. That should help. Ooh, Brexios just went down. Alright, mate, you take out Creo. Kuja, you take out Choco. Stepan, you take out Karo. Kanto, take out Rabbit. Kai, help him. There we go. And they're fleeing. Where's that polar bear? He's over here murdering things. Good. Oh, that went uh, slightly worse than it should have. Let's uh, close that door, shall we? Alright, guys. You uh, gather your stuff together. Somebody, you know, like our doctor, rescue our guys. That usually helps out in situations like this. Don't you dare consume a weak stew. You are banned. Banned, I say, from consuming anything until everybody's tended to. Nope. Banned. I have heard tell of uh, doctoring getting uh, a relook over in the new um, patch. 
which I really, really look forward to. I think it's designed to stop things like this. You like, are you not set to self-tend, Akuja? You are, okay. I don't know why it won't let me, uh... there you go. It's real finicky, I don't know what actually enables or disables the, um, the self-tend order there. It just decides randomly that it doesn't really want to let you do it anymore. Well, we've been attacked quite a lot today. I think it goes without saying. But we've uh, we've come out on top, I would say. We've persevered through all of this horridness. And I want all of these weapons either melted down or added to our stockpile. But that's going to have to do in the next episode guys so i do hope you've enjoyed if you have like subscribe even share the episodes as well if you have enjoyed the content and without further ado i will end off the episode here we'll be back tomorrow for some more rimworld medieval times all right guys see you later